This presentation is PRF. PRF stands for Protein Rich Fibrin by Mercedes Tristan, Registered Dental Assistant. This is what the centrifuge looks like with the hood up. You're going to need some materials, an autoclavable box along with a kit. The kit has a few items like a, a mini tray, a plug, a bowl, a pair of scissors, a pad, and some tweezers. You'll need a tube holder, you'll need the vials of blood, and you'll need a 10 cc syringe. The preparation requires one individual be certified to draw the blood. It would be nice to have a 10 cc syringe with ozone at 6 gamma, a white cotton towel, a tourniquet, a dry gauze and an alcohol gauze, a 23 gauge by 3 quarter inch vacuolette with a hub, and a bandage that's latex free. Turn on the centrifuge. That's easy enough. The button is at the rear. Open the hood by pushing the hood button. When you set the speed at 22, that stands for 2200 RPM. When you set the T for time at 14, it means it's for 14 minutes. You place your PRF vials in the centrifuge in sets of two that oppose each other. This is for proper balance. You should have an even number of vials in the centrifuge. If you have an uneven number of vials, like five, it's a good idea to prepare a vial filled with water to oppose the other full tube. This will help keep everything in balance because it's mandatory to have the blood collector vials two by two opposing each other. This prevents vibrations in the centrifuge itself. If you happen to be drawing more than eight vials of blood, it's a good idea to spin the first set down before drawing more and then spinning them down. The blood does start to coagulate in about two minutes. After that, the blood coagulates progressively faster and it's difficult to attain the right elements in separation during the spin. If you're drawing blood and your two minutes is approaching, I recommend that you take the full vials that you've drawn and go ahead and start spinning them down in the centrifuge. 20 to 30 seconds of being spun will not harm the protein-rich fibrin. Once you've finished collecting the rest of your blood vials, stop the centrifuge, open the hood, and place your blood tubes inside. To start the spin, you simply close the hood and push the start button. At the end of the 14 minutes, the centrifuge will stop spinning and the hood will open automatically. Remove your tubes and place them in the tube holder. Have a sterile kit open and ready for preparation of the plugs and membrane. The clots must be removed no longer than 10 minutes after the spinning has been completed. You will remove the red cap off of the blood collector tube, one tube at a time. Grasp the clot with a pair of tweezers. Take your pad and remove the clot at the junction of where the red and mucus come together. A properly spun tube will have a heavier red cellular look at the lower portion of the blood collector tube, and the upper portion will look creamier. Place the clot on the grid box. Take the PRF pad and peel the red clot. Clean more completely on separated PRF clot. Put them in the white cylinder and gently push them down with the metal piston plug. This produces a PRF membrane. Place the PRF clot on the box grid tray and gently cover with the mini tray. With your 10 cc syringe, you can draw up fluid from the bottom of the tray. This fluid is rich in proteins. After the plugs and membrane are formed, place the plugs in the PRF bowl. Take your membrane and put it in the mini tray. Keep them moist by pouring that rich protein fibrin liquid over the plugs and the membrane. When this process is complete, cover the kit with a sterile cloth. Keep everything sterile until it's ready to be used. 
Protein-rich fibrin plugs and membranes are good for up to four hours before you will need to discard them. Thank you for listening to this presentation.